Welcome back to Life is Strange. It's time to see what Nathan Prescott's been up to in this barn out in the middle of nowhere. But before that, I just got a text message from Warren. What's going on, Warren? Let's see. Oh, this is a long conversation. Oh, wait a minute. No, some of this I've already read. I find it really hard to see what's the new message and what isn't. Okay, I guess it's the stuff that's flashing. Yeah, thanks for pulling me off Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beatdown, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody's going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, Grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. I like Warren. He's nice. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Chloe is so damn fearless. I think I see something in there. Where does that this come from? It. I'm just trying to peek in through the boards. Hmm. Ooh. Hello, squirrel. Ah, no photo opportunity with you. Guess I already have a picture of some squirrels eating some donuts. Also gotta be on the lookout for a windmill, because I need to take a picture of it. Watch us. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. <laughs> Astute observation, Max. Also, I see a windmill. Soon. Soon I will capture your image and your soul. Hey, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Get back here. Get back here. Ooh. Secret entrance in. Mm-hmm. I found the front door. Come on. Wait, don't go inside yet. I still need to take a picture oh, of the yes. windmill. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. I'm never going to get that picture of the windmill. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Alright, please tell me I can go back outside. Oh, thank God. Picture, 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 picture. Wait, can I take a picture of you? <gasps> I think I could have. Rewind. Oh, there we go. Got it. Gotcha. That is a very pretty bird. Look at that. All right, be free. Fly, fly. And let's get a picture of you. Can I get a picture of you? Or was the windmill, right? Oh, it's the bird and the windmill. 
Oh, I thought the bird was like the, the photo on the bottom with like the, the claw, like a bird claw or something. I guess that's something else. Alright, anything else out here I missed? Oops. Oh, looks like that's it. The art design in this game is so good, just look at this. Gorgeous, look at the... Just little bits of dust floating through the air, being lit. By the light pouring in through all the loose boards. And just look at the lighting. All the little strips of light hitting Max. This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Ha! <laughs> If you think I can read that cursive handwriting, you are mistaken. July 22nd, 1903. Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult, and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end... If these conditions are not met by the end, if the day, I guess it's supposed to be of, of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, Martin Lewis Prescott. Wow. Scumbags Cold. down to the roots. Cold. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Of course, gotta have the American flag hanging out on the barn. Patriotism. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so cool. What just happened? Okay, so you're not gonna be able to see this or feel this, but as I was walking over... As I was walking here? I, I felt my controller vibrate. Right here. Yeah, right when I walked over this, I felt my controller vibrate. So I stopped to turn around, thinking, what the heck? That doesn't normally happen. And that's what alerted me to the fact that I'm, like, standing on sheeting and there's something under here. That is so cool. As someone who doesn't use a controller that often, you know, I'm not used to even having any force feedback whatsoever, let alone that force feedback actually telling me about something in the game world existing that I wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. Or as easily. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Alright, so that's some secret entrance. Old. Old. But before that... Oh, wait, I just felt another one. Yeah. <laughs> it just rumbled again. Before I look at what those are, I'm going to look around at everything else. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Oh, just felt another one. So many haystacks, so few needles. You know, you hear about searching for a needle in a haystack all the time, but... Have you ever heard about searching for a haystack in a needle? Old. Old. Hmm. Think about it. Just think about it. So many haystacks, so few needles. Alright, looks like that's it. Let's see what's underneath the hay.
No, nothing in this case. Just rotting wood. I'm guessing one of these is an entrance to some sort of underground place. <sighs> Nothing here. No? Hmm. Maybe there's another one. What about right here? Yep, there we go. <sighs> Nothing here. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Boring. Boring. Oh, is that it for the places to search underneath the hay? So many haystacks, so few needles. Oh wait, here's one more. Jackpot? I think that's a jackpot. Scope out the perimeter, Max. Whoa. Ooh. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? That's a pretty serious padlock and a really big door. No, Super Max. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> it's an old receipt for groceries. 14 cents for eggs, 70 cents for bacon, coffee a dollar. Cocaine? <laughs> Just buy some cocaine. Why not? All right, maybe the whoops. Maybe the pitchfork. No, I can't take it. Hmm. 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 So maybe this thing is gonna work, huh? Oh, wait. No, not the switch. So then how am I going to activate this? What am I going to do? What's this thing attached to? How's this going to work? I have to get through this monster padlock first. Ring. Alright, so I need some weight on the other side, right? The rope just connects to... that, which is connected to nothing. Can I get up there? Oh, I can. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. 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 Don't remind me of those yellow pill-shaped bastards. Ugh. Ooh, this thing's heavy. Which is exactly what I need. Gotta hook it up and then drop it, I think. that or it's just a platform that looks sturdy enough to stand on I'm gonna get some sort of a heavy weight on this side of the pulley nope I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off I need to hook this up to something heavier please be careful up there Max Oh my god, it's an owl! Hey! Huh? 
That's a pretty chill owl. It didn't wake up from all the noise we made yelling at each other and dropping that huge heavy motor on the platform, but it woke up in the flash. But it's still not scared enough to even fly away. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Ha ha ha. Dang, I've done, I think I've maybe done better with the photos this episode than I have in all the previous ones. I'm only missing two. Yeah, how did I do in the other episodes? Episode three, I missed four. Episode two, I missed four. Episode one, I <laughs> missed six. Yeah. Not bad. So I'm still looking for the Pringle taped or glued to the bars and skeleton. Which are probably somewhere where I've already missed them, but oh well. Here's the other end of the rope. Please be careful up there, Max. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Thank you for basically... Yeah, basically giving me a walkthrough. This game can be merciful sometimes. Didn't even think about that. I mean, I thought about attaching it to the motor, but I didn't think about rewinding to get it back within reach. Okay, I think that's it. Blow this thing open. Max Giver strikes again. <laughs> Max Giver. light on down there? I see something flickering. Do I even need to say how weird this is? What? What is this? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Is that a, a bomb shelter? I think it's a bomb shelter. But like, why are the lights on and what's powering it? There must be generators running right now, right? Because I don't think power comes out here. This is creepy. This is really creepy. This bunker is so surreal. Hmm, well, it's not a, It's definitely not a super modern bunker, because that's an incandescent light bulb. But still a heck of a lot newer than the other stuff here. I mean, Jesus, there's a keypad. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Uh... One, two, three? Think, think. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I got it. Yeah, it's only like 20 seconds since I, I just cut. And I just came back, because it just hit me like right afterwards. It's one of those puzzles where you're supposed to look at like what keys have been pressed the most on the keypad. I mean, look at it. You can see the 2, the 4, and the 5 are obviously faded off. So it's got to be some combination of those. So let's try 2, 4, 5. You can do it, Max. Let's try 2, 5, 4. Oops. Bad code. You locked it, dumbass. Hmm? Some 
numbers. Oh, Whoops. no. It didn't work. I didn't mean to enter it. Go back. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. All right, so I tried, tried starting with a two. That didn't work. Let's try starting with a four. Let's do four, two, five. Oh, think, think. Four, five, two. Wrong code. All right, start with the five. Five, two, four. Oops, bad code. Five, you two, locked four, it, five, two, four. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Five, four, two. There we go. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. This this looks weird. Now what the hell is this? I mean, this isn't just a normal bomb shelter. Like this looks like an operating room or something. This is something's wrong here. Keep searching, Chloe. More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Sketchy as fuck. Nothing about Rachel here. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son, as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It's as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Jesus, I already hate this place. Well, you can definitely tell Nathan's been here. Oh, that's a photo printer. Oh my god. Keep searching, Chloe. Okay, yeah, this looked like uh, some sort of a surgery ward, I think because of these, uh, these curtains, these like plastic curtains. And I thought this looked like a hospital bed or something from back there. But no, this is a huge photo printer, and that's a copier, and that's a... There's an entire, fo entire sketchy as fuck. photography studio. Not Rachel here. An extremely high-tech photography studio underground in an old barn. The only reason you'd put something like this out here in an old barn is if what you were taking photographs of was fucked up and illegal and you don't want anybody to find it. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Son of a bitch. Howard Rourke Construction. Stormbreaker Bunker. Full estimate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that a million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars? What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? <sighs> Talk about tortured. Imagine chilling in this room. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, uh, that's from from Sean Prescott. 
Principal Wells has informed me that you've been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything, blah blah blah. You're still my son and I want us to fulfill our destiny. Oh my god, destiny. How fucking deluded and full of himself is this guy? Our destiny, what? Destiny to fucking ruin everybody and pave over everybody else with your money? Let's use that computer last. Are these photo albums? I see Rachel. I don't know if I want to look at these photos or whatever the hell's inside of this. I, I'm, I'm scared. Come on. Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. So he's planning something oh, with no, Victoria? No, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All of these files. This place actually feels evil. Some really, really horrible stuff has happened here. Jesus Christ. I, I know I'm supposed to go run with Chloe, but there's so many things I still want to look at here. There's so many things. I, I guess I need to go, though. It looks like I don't have to, though. Eh, whatever. I can always rewind time, right? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. What is going on between Nathan and his father? I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. Yeah, it's just more yelling at him to stop being a fuck up, basically. Oh. That's an original signed illustration. It fits perfect in here. Needles? This is what he drugged them up with. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Probably listens to music while he works. Oh shit, that's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. So 
somebody likes their whiskey. Alright, I think that's everything. Okay, let's go. I feel like I should rewind time just so I haven't been keeping Chloe for so long, but I don't think it actually matters. Ha <laughs> ha! 